Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk musky trolling. Uh, we'll start with the rod, then the reel, then to the line, and lastly the uh, leader before we go on to baits. So I run Shimano TDRs. I have three eight foot Shimano TDRs. They got the foam back, a bunch of eyelets, and then they are two piece rods, uh, which is convenient because I have a small boat, which means these actually will fit in a storage. So I have a two piece rod, all three of them are, and they're cheap. So if you're like me, you're a big caster and you're not big in trolling, but if the trolling bite's happening, you might as well put a couple of lines in the water and go for a little drive. So you can get one of these rods for like, I think I paid $24.99 for my first two. And I think uh, with a little bit of inflation, I think the third one was 28 or $29.99. So very cheap. But the reels I put a little more money into. This one has a Daiwa AccuDepth 47 LCB. I don't know if you can read that or not, but we'll show you anyways. Rigged up with some 80 pound Power Pro. Uh, I would minimum go 85 or 80 pound Power Pro um, or whatever your favorite line brand is. But that Power Pro I got running to a 32 inch or 36 inch fluorocarbon leader, 130 pounds with a I don't know how many pound swivel that is with these clips, but I'm going to set the rod down here. If you're running these clips like this, make sure that you replace them often because they break in this bend. Um, after this year, I probably will cut this leader a little shorter, put a better clip on because these aren't that great. They will break in the bend after a lot of use. You'd hate to lose a muskie because your clip broke. So that's the rod, the reel, the line. And the leader, I think you can probably get yourself a setup like that for like $120, $130. Um, yeah, 30 bucks for a rod, probably 70 bucks for the reel. However much a spool of line is, if you don't have some, and then a leader. But we'll start with uh, probably my new favorite bait. I didn't start running one until recently. The Rapala Super Shad. Um, I know that it's very popular in Green Bay, but... I figured if it's popular in Green Bay, why not try it down here, uh, more towards southern Wisconsin, and it works. It it's a killer. Uh, if I got three poles out, one is for sure a super shad, if not two. Um, next bait I picked out for the day is a depth raider. I figured most people have depth raiders. I used to cast them all the time on rocks. Uh, that was my strategy. But once I started trolling, I learned they're absolutely awesome for trolling, and super shad. With like 110 feet of line out, you get down 12 feet. Depth Raider goes down to like 18 feet. Um, I'll plug Joe Booker's app. You can download the Joe Booker Muskie 360. It's got the dive chart for it. Um, as well as a few other baits like this Ernie. If you want to dive even deeper, uh, solid body, the Ernie dives way deeper. Awesome color pattern on here, this Fire Tiger. Good size. This one's a deep diver, so... If I want to run, you know, 20 feet down on the thermocline or something, I'll put this one on my down rod, put this one off the side of the boat. Maybe I'm running the depth rider down a little further, but not quite as shallow as the uh, super shad. So I got them. One of my other favorite baits, probably my number two favorite trolling bait, I got the 10 inch Jake. This is from Team Rhino Outdoors. Um, this color, I think it's ice cold perch. And this, this is a producer right here. If you don't have a 10 inch Jake, make sure you get one. And I'll give you a little tip. Put a split ring on the nose. I think it makes the action better for the bait. I think it, uh, it goes further, I think, off to the sides with that leader. So if you get a 10 inch Jake, split ring the nose, any Jake actually, just make sure you split ring it. I split ring my depth raiders because otherwise you can't get a clip on them. Uh, the Ernie and the Super Shad I don't have clips on. And then the last bait for the day is a bait I plan on running this fall because I want to catch a fish on it. I got the 14 inch Jake and this thing is humongous. I mean, here's a Super Shad in comparison. Or I'll show you the 10 inch Jake compared to it. I mean, this is just a monster of a bait. Just humongous. The side profile is basically double. The lip is a bunch more and I really don't know what the dive chart is for this um, I'm sure it's probably just a test it as you go kind of deal and figure it out but I think fall time 14 inch Jake those fish are looking for a big profile going a little slower and I think this could just be the ticket 
I think the color is pretty cool. I don't, I don't know if color makes the biggest difference. Um, especially if you're night trolling, it probably doesn't make a difference. But if it does, I think this color is sweet. And I hope it gets eaten this fall. So hopefully I can share a video with you guys. Catching a fish on this. Split ringed as well. So if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. And uh, I'll make sure to respond to it for you. So we'll just quick recap it. Shimano TDR. Daiwa LCR. LCB. 80 pound power pro. 32 inch fluorocarbon leader. 130 pound. Jake get one super shad get two depth already priority got some you're golden if you want something that dives deeper with less line go pick yourself up an ernie so that's all i got for you guys today so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one